Hello, I'm Ashley. I am also BRCA2 positive, and I have decided to do a preventative bilateral mastectomy and reconstruction surgery. I've been doing surveillance for the last uh, eight years and have decided it's time to actually take action. But now that it's almost a month away, it's kind of like, whoa, here we go. Uh, I've been doing a lot of reading. I've joined a couple of Facebook groups of people who are BRCA positive and have just been trying to think about what it's going to be like having the surgery because I've never had a surgery besides LASIK and um, thinking about the restrictions that I'm going to have after surgery. Well, let's back up. First, I got this new chair. Um, well, it was new to me. It was actually free. I got it from a state sale and it had a tag that said $80 on it and then it was marked out and then it said 60 and then it said 30, I think, and then it said free. And I was just like, yes, because I had been thinking about wanting to get a recliner because it's as a better way to sit um, after the surgery. And so then the next day when we went to this estate sale and here it was and it was free. Now it's not a recliner, but it's much, it's more comfortable than the other chair that I had. And it has an ottoman, which is nice. And uh, I think it's going to be extremely helpful for after the surgery. I also just ran my last half marathon for a while. And that's the thing that's the biggest unknown for me and something that I, that's most troublesome for me, for just not to know how long I'm gonna, not going to be able to run. But I did the Philadelphia Love Half Marathon on uh, March 31st. And here's my medal. Pretty cool and exciting. It was a great time. My aunt and cousin and I, we made a vacation out of going to Philly and then we went to New York City and saw uh, another cousin. And it was, it was really good. Now, I of course wanted to have my best time ever, like best racing time ever, since this will be my last half for a while but uh, and I really thought I was gonna do it towards the beginning of the race I was I was feeling great but then my uh, hamstrings and things started to get tight and uh, it became a, a point of okay well maybe I can just be close to what I was before and, and then it was okay just try to finish <laughs> um, but I actually did better than on my other times it was my second fastest ever I don't know I truly don't know how I did so well in my first one not I mean it's not great for other people but it's really good for me two hours and 22 minutes. Um, so this time I was two hours and 25 minutes. So just a couple minutes slower. Um, but it was really good. And so now I'm back leading the running group, co-leading the running group for a while, for four or five more weeks. And then I'm gonna have to take some time off because of the surgery. I have applied and was granted my FMLA stuff that I need for work and I'm, I'm looking at taking at least two weeks at home maybe the third week working from home we'll see uh, the my work people told me I have to have a doctor's note in order to come back I imagine that's accurate for working from home as well I'll need a doctor's note I just have no idea how I'm going to react to all the pain medicine and all that I've never had any sort of big surgery I've had I had LASIK a couple years ago but it's just not anywhere close to the same. I did have to have stitches um, on my thumb here uh, a couple of weeks ago, which was crazy. My first experience with stitches and having uh, lidocaine and all that. So it kind of was like a precursor, I'm sure, to what I'll actually feel for the um, mastectomy surgery. And by having that, after having all my doctor's appointments, I have now reached my deductible. Woo! <laughs> So that's kind of good going into my big surgery and I also received a letter from my insurance provider saying that my surgery is covered. They did not say you know how much I would have to pay but I'm assuming not all that much, maybe 20% since um, I've met my deductible and and it's a covered procedure. Um, so we'll, we'll see about that. That might be a ongoing expense for a while. Probably will be been approved to go to a conference in August uh, in Portland, Oregon, which I've never been to and I'm very excited about that. And so I'm thinking that that will be a good kind of motivator um, and way to keep my spirits up when I'm probably, well, we'll see where I'm at emotionally um, after the surgery when I can't do things that I want to. Um, the doctor said I could go, but I probably won't be able to do like bike tours and things like that, but I could do walking tours. So I've talked about all of this with my therapist, which has been extremely helpful. And she suggested doing things between now and my surgery that I won't be able to do 
once I had the surgery. Um, it was kind of like a last hurrah, which I think was a great idea. And so I signed up for a bike race, um, May 5th, Cinco de Mayo actually, and uh, we'll see how that is. I've never done a bike race before. I, I did a super sprint triathlon last year, but uh, not a bike race. So I guess I need to train. <laughs> I, I've ridden my bike to work a couple of times a week, uh, uh, last week that is, um, and will continue as long as it's not super cold, um, riding my bike to work. Uh, the route, I think there's like three different distances, and I think I'm going to do the shortest distance on the bike race. So I think it's 16 miles, which should be doable. But I have to say though, when I rode my bike to work a couple times last week, uh, I felt it in my legs. I'm like, oh, okay, this is different from running. I am planning on having a party for my surgery and actually also for my birthday. So I will be turning 31 on May 14th and then my surgery is on May 16th. Just how it worked out. I actually was hoping to have the surgery on uh, May 23rd, but the surgeons weren't available and so it was the week prior. But my birthday is on a Tuesday. So I'm thinking about having this kind of birthday, surgery, ice cream social thing on May 11th, which is the Saturday and also my Aunt Kim's birthday. So we might make it a joint thing. I'm thinking about inviting people from all aspects of my life, running, work, and uh, family. We'll see, I'm unsure of where to hold it uh, because my house doesn't have a ton of parking on my street, uh, but then I was looking at maybe at a park so in the meantime, between now and my surgery, I'm going to continue to look for things to do that uh, I can enjoy, especially things outside, because uh, with it being finally nicer out, um, I need to get things done, house projects done, as well as like yard projects and things that I won't be able to do for a while. Because I'm going to try very hard to adhere to the, the rules after surgery and not lift my arms, and not do anything too strenuous and just be good um, so I don't hurt myself and hinder the healing process. Uh, I am planning on doing over the muscle with tissue expanders and I would actually like to go to a size slightly smaller than I am currently because of uh, running purposes. I'm a 36C or D depending on kind of the time and, and weight fluctuations. Um, so I'd like to be, I think, a large uh, B instead. Um, I've asked about doing a direct implant. I haven't heard back, so we'll see if I can do that. Um, my only thought of doing a direct implant is then it would be a quicker healing process because I wouldn't have to uh, go through the second exchange surgery. Um, I think perhaps I can't do that since um, I'm not doing uh, nipple sparing uh, mastectomy. I think I read that then you can't do a direct implant, but I don't know. I trust my doctors, so I'll uh, follow their advice and, and do what they think I should. So, Oh, I got a haircut. So I, since moving here, I had not had a stylist. I've always just gone to random places, but I decided I wanted to actually ask somebody like what kind of hairstyle would make sense with my face shape and uh, because of after the surgery, I'm going to have a hard time lifting my arms. Maybe it'd be better to have a much shorter haircut, but I didn't want to just jump straight to that. So I had a haircut with a stylist right before we went to Philadelphia and cut off eh, probably that much. Um, and I'm liking it a lot. I don't know if I'm going to have the second haircut to make it even shorter. I think this might be it. Um, I haven't had really short hair since like first grade. so. It's just like a, it's a big jump to go to really short hair. And it takes a while to grow back, so you're kind of committed to it for a while. So that's what I, I haven't decided about. Talk to you later.